The aim of this exhibition is to really look at the subtleties of America's involvement in the war, how their involvement in the war, working side by side with the Allies, helped change the course of it. But also, the thing that I'm really interested in is the way that their involvement in the First World War impacts social um, and domestic policy. As visitors enter the gallery, they're given a personnel file, and this is one of ten characters, and these were real-life people and animals that were involved with the First World War. Some of them fought, some of them protested against the war, some of them raised funds on the home fronts. So each visitor is given a different person, and throughout the exhibition, they follow their story. We have um, a pilot called Kimber. He was a young university student who wanted to join the war effort and became a pilot. And he wrote letters home specifically with the idea that one day he would publish his memoirs. And you really get to know him by reading these letters and become connected to him. We also had the opportunity to work with, with our own archives and our founder's father, Alexander Pratt um, served during the war. We have letters and medals that belonged to him on display. Uh, there's a Purple Heart medal, um, which was awarded to him for bravery. Reading about those individual people and their experiences of the war really helps to bring it home and helps people make a connection with something that is quite distanced from us now. We're really fortunate to have a watch from the wreck of the Lusitania. And of course, the Lusitania was really important um, in terms of American propaganda and helping to sort of turn the tide of public opinion against neutrality and towards joining the war. Very early on, the museum and I were talking about working on perhaps a trench design, um, so a, a, a reconstructed section of trench. And historically, the, the Americans weren't really using trenches that much. So we thought that actually a better idea would be to take what the Americans were actually using a lot more of and use that as a centerpiece in the exhibition. So the tank you see behind me is, is very much more the look that you associate with American warfare at this time. What I hope our visitors will take away from this exhibition is to have an understanding of the fact that this was a terrible thing that um, caused a generation to disappear. But out of that, um, we see hope in the form of social and domestic reform, particularly in America. You start to see recognition of Native American rights and their granted citizenship and also women's rights. You can see this, this word legacy coming out of everything in World War I. You can see tank design, you can see medical changes, you can see infantry equipment, everything's moving forward. And that, that four year period is just really important in the development of, of warfare in the 20th century, but also that warfare in the 20th century shapes the 20th century. <laughs>